Hello everyone, Jeff and Jay here with another edition of Jay's Big Adventure. Jay's the fuzzy guy, only that's not Jay, that's Al, his girlfriend, because Jay is off on another adventure on his own. But today we are starting a new video series. What we have done is found a 1994 Honda Passport. These were only made for two years. It was a joint venture with a Suzu. And so it actually has an Isuzu 3.2 liter V6 in it. Um, this particular car though is a super rare five-speed manual and these have a high and low range. So it is a true four-wheel drive. This one's not in terribly bad shape for a 94. Um, we got it from a guy who uh, didn't know what he had and didn't know what he was doing. We went to look at it and he said that the engine was knocking and indeed it was. But everything else in the car worked. I just drove it enough to make sure that the four-wheel drive worked and the clutch was in decent shape. And I bought it just because it's worth at least this much in parts. When I got home, we found out that there was no oil in it. I mean, it was less than half a quart. Well, that will indeed <clears throat> make it knock. But uh, put some oil in it and it actually runs really well. Now, we've got to do a couple of things to it. The heater blower doesn't work, although the air conditioning is still fully charged. And we washed it and now the uh, alternator isn't charging, but that's probably just a, a wet connection somewhere because it did actually charge when I bought it. But today we're just gonna start cleaning this thing and see if we can polish this thing into something resembling a car, then put it up for sale. <clears throat> what I really like about this car is that it's actually pretty clean. Um, it's gonna be a little hard to see in here, but the carpets are not bad. A little bit of a rip on the seat, but that's no big deal. But this is going to be a cheap, affordable, all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive vehicle. And that's why we bought it. It's not in bad shape. It also came with the front bumper in the back. And he had taken it off for something. I don't know whether they were planning on using it as a, uh, as a tow behind or whatever, but the... We're gonna have to pull the bumper out of the back seat and see whether we can reattach that. And we've got some tires coming for it and it just needs a really good detail. And I think it's gonna be a pretty good car. First thing is to spray the entire engine with simple green. Got the car back to the shop. We did the outside cleaning. Um, Carter's working on the inside, but I'm going to start working on the paint. And I have never done this before. I haven't buffed. I haven't gone through any kind of training. And we're just going to jump in and do this just like you would if you're starting off from scratch on your own. So <laughs> I know the professionals are going to look at this video <laughs> and faint onto the couch. But I really wanted to do this 
with no preparation, without a lot of, uh, of, of background. I just want to see if I can figure it out. And I don't know if this is going to show up on camera, but this paint is just hammered. It is, of course, we got the clear coat peeling off. It's got a ton of checks and cracks and stuff in it. So I really can't hurt this. A couple little scratches that I'm going to try to take out. But I just want to see if I can figure out how to make this work. So I've got a pretty good buffer and uh, a foam pad. And I bought some Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. I don't actually know if this is going to be heavy enough of a cutting compound to make this work. So I've got some heavy duty compound as well. But we're going to start here and give it a whirl. I mean, really, how hard can this be? <laughs> Take a rag and wipe this off and see if we're getting anywhere. And of course, part of the point of this is it's hard to tell whether it shows up on camera, but yes, <laughs> there is a significant improvement. I, I think I'm okay. It's uh, it's certainly not, uh, certainly haven't heard any. So we're just gonna do a couple of sections and uh, eventually we'll have the whole hood done. We'll take a look and see how it goes. But tell you what, we're not having any idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I truly mean that. Um, that is a big improvement. It is at least shiny. Uh, these are really harsh lights, so they show absolutely every imperfection. But I think when we take it outside, this is actually going to look pretty good. So many music. Okay, well, we have been cleaning and buffing and uh, shampooing, and the car is really coming along pretty well. Um, of course, it rained, so the, the paint doesn't look that nice, but the paint's really come back quite a bit. The interior turned out quite nice. Um, gosh, <clears throat> the seats are in good shape. The carpets are in good shape. I'm really kind of impressed. It's uh, it's turning out to be a nicer car than even what I was expecting. So we're really going to go to town here and do a bunch of additional little things. Uh, we've gotten the <clears throat> rear trim plates off. We're just going to paint those and make them match. Then I think for the roof, because there's so much surface rust, we're probably going to have to sand that off and do a POR15, which is a rust inhibitor. And that will really help um, stop that rust from going any further. And then we'll just make it uh, kind of a satin black because I don't want to try to match the color particularly. But um, And then it'll be ready to go. Uh, gosh, all in all, it's turned out to be quite the nice car. We've got tires coming for it. And uh, in just a couple of weeks, this thing should be ready to sell. So that's it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And we'll have more videos up soon.